Okay, thanks for following along with this build. We're getting close. Here's motor one, and I'm going to mount props on all four motors, mount the GoPro and battery, and then I think we'll be ready to give this QAV400 a test flight. I'm going to start by just setting my props in place, and then we're going to balance them. This is a counterclockwise rotating motor, motor one, so I'm going to put the counter rotating prop there. Motor two rotates clockwise, so I'm going to put the clockwise rotating prop there. Motor three is a counterclockwise rotating motor, so I'm going to put the counterclockwise rotating prop on there. And then motor four is a clockwise rotating motor, so the clockwise rotating prop goes there. This is my magnetic balancer. I'm going to pull this off. Put the, these are the 8x5 Grobner E-props. Put it in there. It's a magnetic balancer. You can tell this edge right here is heavy. So we'll just sand it down a little bit and put it back on the balancer. We're sanded and smooth now. I'm going to put it on the balancer and it's holding its position. I like to do the other side just to check and that one looks good. Now here's an e-prop that doesn't need to be balanced. Straight out of the package it's pretty well balanced. Okay we're all balanced up. I'm going to put our props on. We're going to tighten these guys down. Okay, for my first test, I'm going to, as part of the kit, you get this one-sided sticky foam for the GoPro to put under here, but I'm actually not going to use it. I'm going to do just a straight test with the GoPro mounted on here, secured with a Velcro strap around it. Our GoPro is strapped on and ready to go. Our 3S LiPo is now strapped into place and I have it positioned I think just about right so we get that CG right in the middle there. Looks to be pretty good. And before I take it up I had, I've had some of you ask me uh, if it's possible to fly 9 inch props on this QAV and I'm gonna have to say I don't believe it is if you can notice there's very little clearance between the edge of this 8 inch prop and this front mounting spacer. Okay, here we are at QAV400 Garage Maiden with the NASA 3S LiPo starting off in attitude mode just to get a feel for it here in the garage and then we'll take it outside. And... Wow! This thing is ridiculously stable. Default gains with the NASA. This thing is insanely stable. Unbelievably. Alright, I'm going to take it outside and let's take a look.
So that's the QAV400. All I can say is wow and the video looks amazing. No dampening going on underneath this camera right now. I didn't switch to manual mode. I'm just not ready to do that. I'll probably do that over the weekend and let you know how it goes. And that's with the NASA. I'll follow up with APM and multi wee tests. Only thing I want to point out is just be careful. Almost had a heart attack in the air. This strap, you can see it's, it's a little bit, there's a little bit of slack. This is a 3S and I have a 4S lipo that'll go on there where there won't be as much slack, but you can see how it's cut up and I heard this prop run into something in the air and I, I had this picture of my brand new build plummeting to the ground, but uh, thankfully it just kind of nudged this out of the way. Just keep that in mind. As you're working with these smaller frames and more compact builds, you have to look out for stuff like that. So I hope this was useful. Really enjoyed doing this build and it's pretty gratifying maiden flight, although it wasn't too exciting. Pretty stable and just flew it around. As I get more confident, I'll hopefully be able to do more with it. So if you have any questions, please post them below and thank you for watching.